Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing categorical data. This is standard 6.12d in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Kai is giving his guinea pig 80 grams of food. And the table shows the amount of each type of food. And you see that we have percentage bar graphs, F, G, H, and J. And each color is slightly darker than the one before. One thing we need to remember about our percentage bar graph is that anytime you get a percentage bar graph, it always equals 100% because it's a percentage of the whole. So 40 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10, that's going to make 100%. And we're looking for which one is going to meet that. Now take a look at all of these white bars right here. These white bars represent this hay, because that's what our key says. And they already give us this 40 right here. And so what we want to do is we want to see, is that 40 really this 40%? Or is it just 40? Well, we don't really know yet. The easy thing would be to say, oh, there's 40 and there's 40. But remember, all of this equals 100%. So we need to find the total first. So 40 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10. So that is going to equal 60, 70, 80. So take a look at this. This is going to be out of 80. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and turn all of these into fractions. So hey, let's just put that right here. It's 40 grams out of 80 total. And then alfalfa pellets, I'll go ahead and put A right there. That's 20 grams out of 80 total. And then we've got our tomatoes and lettuce. And once we find one, we've got the other. That's each going to be 10 out of 80 total. So for a total of 80. So we need to reduce each of these. But you probably can take a look at this right here. 40 over 80. You can just take the zeros off and you get 4 eighths, which is the same as 1 half. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for this alfalfa pellets here. So we're going to take the zeros off. It's going to be 2 over 8. So that's 1 fourth. And then remember we have both tomato and lettuce. And each of those are going to be 1 eighth. And that's as low as it gets. So we'll just call that 1 eighth for each of these. So what we need to do now is to turn these into percentages, but we can actually help ourselves by eliminating some of these incorrect answers first before we look at all of these as percentages. So take a look at F right here. F seems like it might help because look, we've got a 40 and then we get from 40 to 60. Remember that's 20 and this right here is 10. And then the final one is 10. So take a look at what we have. We've got 40, 20, 10, 10, which is exactly what this says. The problem is, is it only adds up to 80%. Remember, percentage bar graphs have to add up to 100%. So unless your total happens to be 100, you cannot just take all your raw numbers, throw them on a percentage bar graph, and say that's the answer. That is incorrect, because it does not accurately represent the percentages, and it doesn't even add up to 100 G at least adds up to 100, so we can at least look at G, H, and J. But first, let's take a look at our H right here, 1 half. Well, 1 half should be something that we are familiar with. This is a benchmark fraction we should have memorized. That's 0 0.5, or 5 tenths, which is equal to 50%. Remember, you move the decimal twice to the right. So 50%, well, that's 40. That's not going to work. So it could be H could be J. Let's look at our A is going to be 1 fourth, which is 25%, which, nope, this is a 20%, so our answer is going to be J.